Hello and welcome to the part number 18 of the Node Editor tutorial series. My name is Paul Kropola from BlenderFree.com and we are currently starting to implement undo and redo operations inside of our Node Editor. So in this part, first we are going to explain what's going on actually with undo and redo with the history stack and stuff and later we are going to implement them. So let's start. Okay, so implementation of the undo and redo operations will be quite simple enough for us because uh, we already got our serialization of the whole scene done. So basically what we are going to do is create something like history stack, which in our case in Python is going to be a list. And let's say we are going to say that the maximum number of the items in the history is gonna be 8 so the maximum is gonna be 8 and we can call these items something like history stamps or, or I don't know it doesn't actually matter what it's gonna be also we are going to introduce a pointer to the current history item itself so we got basically three operations we can do we can store some history item so I will call that store history And we can do undo and we can do redo like this okay so when we start our application the index or the pointer is gonna have value something outside of the history stack so let's say minus one and the length of the list is gonna be zero so what happens if we store history We basically we will basically append the item to the list, so that's gonna be a, and we are going to increase the pointer. So the pointer will be pointing here. So the value is gonna be zero, and the length of the list is gonna be one. If we do that again. then we will append new item and again we will increase the pointer so in this case that's gonna be one and the length is gonna be two so already you can see that the pointer should always be less than the length of the history stack itself okay so what happens if we do undo operation we can basically take our pointer decrease it and restore the state so that means we are going to move the pointer here and now we can restore the a state which is here so if we do undo then our pointer is going to be zero and the length is going to be two what if we do undo again then our pointer is going to be minus one and minus one is outside of the indexes available in the history stack so therefore we are going to have an error we will get something like a value exception or something like that so basically that means that we we need to check if the pointer is bigger or equal to zero otherwise we will not be able to undo okay so this will not pass and what's gonna happen if we do a redo operation basically we can increase the pointer and restore again so we will be moving to the right and we will restore the B state so the pointer is gonna be one again and this is gonna be two the length is gonna be two okay so what's going to happen now if we do redo again we will increase our pointer so the pointer value is gonna be two and the length is gonna be two and we are again trying to read somewhere here 
there is no value yet. So that means that we need to check if the pointer plus one is less than the length of the history stamp or the history stack itself. Otherwise the redo operation will fail. So we will be pointing here again. So what's going to happen if we try to add few more items? So I will just quickly write some letters here. A B B A. So in this case our index, our pointer is gonna have value seven and the length is gonna be eight. What happens now when we try to store our history? Again, so let me write it here for the sake of consistency. We would append a new thing or new item. So that would be here. And we would increase the pointer. So that's going to be eight and nine. But we are already outside of our maximum number of items we can use or store. So instead of that, what we can do, we can destroy or delete the first element. And we can say that the array is actually or the stack is actually starting here. And we can append and increment. So this way we will again have plus operation and the index will be 7 and the length is going to be 8. So that means that we need to check if the length before we are appending or if the length of the history stack is equal or bigger to the maximum and if it is then we will remove the first element and basically you can decrease the pointer itself append and then we will remain with this result which we actually want okay so these should be basically all of the limits and all of the operations we need to think about when implementing the history stack so in this part we are going to implement the history stack itself with all the logic and all the conditions we need to meet for this one to be working and later in the second part after that we are going to implement all of the history stamps and detection of the correct events of storing these history stamps inside our history stack. So let's start coding.